and gaming has not been faring well. NRG finds themselves in a fight as well. Take one of these, throw it on the hard start. Gotta watch out, nice little crack right there on the caustic. See if they can ease their way as the circle is oh. closing in right behind energy, but they're right there on the border with the train Lions. tracks. The Titan, the behemoth of Europe. Energy is quiet as of late. We'll see if they can get out of this peculiar situation here. Meanwhile, FA Kitty, speaking of Europe, is going to take out TSM. NRG is going to get eliminated from ORF, and just like that, the chip. What the? Pineapple on pizza, pineapple on burger, none of that. None of that matters. <laughs> Scars is still alive, your champion from the ALGS Championship in year one. Right now, it's Europe showing up big time, Vicky, with nine squads left. Two of them oh. are top European teams. The wide right flank from Hockey's, the IGL for this team, comes in and melts everybody. Look their backs. They're splitting some of that attention. It's FNC who have been holding on to that high ground for a while. They had those squads. One another. Down. Good shots put in here. Dreamfire, I mentioned before, former champions for split one. And Roy's going to knock one. Team Liquid is looking a little dicey. Is the kill leader with those four kills. They're tossing out those arc stars with the barbit coming down. Fnatic still holding on to the side. Team Liquid now is in. Fnatic wants to bait this fight to start and doing such a good job of that. But Matsutasu is so damaged right now. Here comes the play opportunity. Ooh. Arc star making its mark nice. here. Got to dance around those bombardments yeah. here too. Dreamfire versus Alliance versus Ooh. Fnatic right now. Dreamfire used their Gibby Bolt early. Double sorry, but they have high ground. They have the win condition in my eyes. Alliance is content letting this fight happen. Fnatic going to get melted. Welcome back to Competitive Esports Fanatic, but you're going to get taken out here. Dreamfire is just firing away. One after another. Easy money for Dreamfire. And they show up to play against the Lions, but somehow they're still alive. They're taking so much damage off of this Caustic gas here, too, though. They're trying to go around, but as you can see, Belin trying to jump right around this cart. He gets taken down. Now jumping down, it's a Lions. Dreamfire, a Dreamfire. Now take game number one here in the ALGS Championship. Mira el tempo de esta casa dormido otra vez, güey. ¿Qué está teniendo? Mira, Tyler, Tyler, bien vergas. Que de lo, no tengo killing, no tengo killing. No hay que mostrar este, full safe. Que güey, se quedaron sin killing, estos perros. Está aquí arriba, aquí arriba, súbete aquí, súbete aquí, súbete aquí. ¿Alguien tiene killing? ¿Alguien tiene killing? Nada, 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 nada. No, 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 te puedo dar una bat completa y me quedo sin nada. Están avanzando, creo que están avanzando, están avanzando, están avanzando. Preciso que me la dine, preciso que me la dine. 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 Preciso que me
And Malstera going to do some damage himself. He's going to get a knock on Rico, and Sutoraiku is going to be eliminated to the hands of Fnatic. As we got Fnatic making their debut in competitive Apex again, their re-debut after a few years hiatus. Look at the damage. Oh. Malstera with the best defensive bombardment. Back-to-back -back great defensive bombardment from him. Back-to-back -back games and back-to-back -back damage. Malstera's oh. doing so much work. All of Yuka last alive, and he connects. Why are you running here? You get taken down after trying to fully send it onto that team right here. And here comes NRG. Fnatic gave up the high ground and presented it to NRG on a silver platter coming right behind Yuka's back. And look at this. EXO's going to disengage. What a smart play from EXO. And that puts them in the 3v3 fight against NRG. They don't have a bubble to their name. NRG that have held this spot since the start oh, of the game. Oh, the damage from Sweet, the IGL, the Slayer, the tip of the spear. What doesn't he do? He's pushing wide right. He's getting so much damage in. Opportunity is, so. with the rest of EXO in his line of sight, funneling them oh. into Nathan and Rocker's point of view. But they got their bubble back, and they're able to push the 3v2. They know they have numbers on the wide right push, but such a good job from NRG to stay alive. Rocker and Nathan, the young duo, are going to do it. They got the dome shield, and they're going to heal back up, but the damage is done. EXO needs to push. They need to take this damage, and they need to fly. Oh, let's see the opportunity. Nathan gets taken down. Rocker gets taken down oh. here. The Gothic Knockouts is doing much sweet, the last one alive. Can we see him? No, EXO take it over NRG in game number two. Teams ready to put on a show for game number two. I see a sign that says TSM and passion on it. We'll see if that passion can come through in game three. As the we have kitties drop over in Lava Siphon, and they are going to bully the entire central Lava Siphon drop spot and south. And all the squads that we saw rotate earlier on to Thermal. If Fnatic successfully finds positioning here, I'm going to do a VOD review on this game and talk about how to play oh. the game cops, but it's not going to happen easily. They're both going to get knocked in no way. Jose, is there two of them are going to get taken out by Godfire. Exo is going to be still alive as a team of two. Actually crazy right here. Wow. The RC is in some trouble. Jungie oh, falls down. Is nice. EMP gets put down too. FA Kitties get wiped out as TSM now having to play as a two-man like you mentioned. Off to the side seeing a lot of the chaos. IG International. Let's see if they can get Brynn right back into this. But they're losing way too much health so quick. Even with RKN now. He's got the crypto. He already utilized the EMP early like we've seen before. TSM will hold how knocking them left to right. Dogma getting taken down. Ooh. Oh, oh. Here's the fight and takes out two, and he's the kill leader with three now. Nine. TSM having to play from the other side. A lot of the action, though, right in their line of sight as they hold on to the high. Oh, this is an interesting fight here between Scars and Dream. Fire Scars, of course, the Japanese organization can't. Team Burger, team of three, still alive and well. They're gonna push up on Detonation Gaming. And Team Optic as well holding on to the other side. Scars take care of Dream Fire, though, immediately manages to get right back to the cover. That's a big TSM with a couple kills here. They need a top three finish, though. If they don't get top three. They're not going to get the placement points oh. that they need. Team Burger is going to fry. I believe that Scars, who's gate, getting gate kept right now. Meanwhile, Reps is going to get a knock with the R301 on one tappy. Assault Rifle and PK meta so strong right now. It's Reps melting from afar and high ground. And he's going to put so much damage on Scars. Scars is going to be in such a dangerous spot. Beating from above. TSM looking unstoppable right now in this position. The easiest Evo Shield level up Reps will ever get as he is frying right now, putting in so much damage. And that's going to be a couple easy kill points. Four squads left. Reps and Hal back to back kill leaders in the kill feed as they're taking turns. The duo shining, the duo doing what they do best. TSM now cleaning up the lobby. And now they're going to make a late appearance to the action happening over here. Look at the shots onto Godfire's back right there. That's TSM who is still cleaning up right now. Hal gets the knock on Bullet. They're getting every single kill. They are farming this lobby. And they might win this game as a team of two. Here comes the Seer Punch. Look oh! at the from Hal. Oh my god. Somebody stop him there. They have the Valk Tap to call him out here. Let them know that they see them. They're going to be able to restabilize a little bit if he could get Wait, some of that. Our final two teams, Hal and Reps, get to sit back and oh, watch no. as they're going to call GFR out and they're going to find their easy kill point on Sleep, who takes out one. Three squads remain South America and North America. There you go. We got GFR on the bottom here. Godfather trying to look for another yes. W right here, but they're right below TSM, who doesn't want to overextend and poke because Optic has them in their line of sights. Let's see. You got the Knox gas ready here from Skittle Cakes. Right. The question is do they know that they're a team of two? They're being big and they're taking up a lot of positioning here. Does Optic? No. Here comes the push. Easy fight. Godfire might be able to rat their way to a win here, and they're at the Dome Shield's going to come in. Godfire needs to enter this fight if you want TSM to win this. Right below them is Optic Gaming. See, they have the opportunity. You see the massive in Reb's hand. We talked about the Mad Maggie passive before. 
See, Imperial Hell does not have that Cyril anymore. Just use it earlier. The Nox Gas as well oh. as Godfather now. Godfire now moving in with the redeploy, but they didn't have the opportunity to actually take it away. They saw that they were fighting, but nobody wanted to overextend. That's right. And for every second that Godfire distracts TSM, Optic pushes in. TSM's going to ape. Oh. Rats drops. Hell's going to try and rat, but they know he's there. Imperial Hell, three squads left. It's going to be a third place finish here for TSM. No way, no way in hell they do it. Yes, they get taken out. Optic Gaming drops. Here comes the 3v3. Godfire, the damage is done from TSM. And Optic Gaming is going to win it. Optic Gaming is your champion of game number three. They Play needed perfection. that. They needed that fallout. They were on the other side of the page of the overall leaderboards. And they... the leaderboards. 19 points for Optic, a must needed showing from them. Right behind them, TSM with 17 out of respect on that. Knocked controller player, former Cloud9, gets dropped.